Hello there, Eruner here and today we will make a tier list of flankers in Troy. Let's start with Ethiopia, the only or when one of the few units that are suitable for flanking are Ethiopian stripesmen. Uh, they are just like militia, but they are faster and they can one card deployed. But they are not uh, as good at fighting as other average uh, flankers. So that's why these guys will be in the below average tier. Uh, sadly, Ethiopia does not have uh, very strong flankers, and you will have to bring a lot of these uh, tribesmen to do the flanking. On the other hand, we got the Argos with Night Runners. They are pretty good because of their vanguard ability and good speed and uh, stalk. They are invisible most of time you will make a good flanking opportunities however they do not have their flanking attack improved if they had they would be above average or maybe even top tier but sadly for now they are going to the average tier then we have dardania dardanian sworn fighters are very good YOLO chargers, they are able to delete enemy unit and themselves by doing so. Uh, they are fast, they do have flanking attack improved. You cannot hide them, you cannot uh, do one guard stuff, so you will be mostly using them as typical flanker. Then we have Hector. Hector roster does not have flankers and you will be using Trojan warriors. Uh, com that is just like young spears or the militia. They have just standard speed and no flanking uh, bonuses. Compared to Ethiopia tribesmen, they are weaker. Uh, they don't have vanguard, they don't have speed, and that's why poor Hector is the worst tier for the flanking. Next we have Hippolyta and sadly you don't have infantry that is suitable for front king but instead we got horsewomen we, we have to use cavalry as flankers uh, these cavalry flankers uh, are not so good at dueling and they don't have flanking attack improved that's why uh, they are below average they are not meant for infantry duels, but quickly maneuvering and do some flanking and dealing damage with other units. But instead, we got the sp spear runners from Ithaca. They have 55 speed, um, they are pretty solid, cost efficient, they have flanking attack improved, and all of this makes them above average you will be using them as flankers, you will move them around the battlefield uh, and do a lot of with these guys. They are pretty good uh, fast uh, flankers in my opinion. Then we got Lycia. Lycia does not have flankers. Uh, you can use Kopesh fighters as flankers. They have flanking defense instead of flanking attack and just standard um, just under uh, speed and because of the luck of the flanking attack and other attributes uh, they are below average tier uh, they should be doing slightly better than uh, tribesmen so maybe they are going to be the, the best of their current tier next we got Mycenae they have access to club warriors and club warriors are very solid good flankers even though they have standard speed they have flanking attack improved and good stats they are really cost efficient they i think they are even better than th these two pre previous guys so 
Yeah, with Mycenae you will use Club Warriors as flankers very well. Next we got Paris. They have Phrygian Warriors. Uh, they have flanking getting improved, standard speed. They can cause fear uh, to quickly route enemy units. However, this unit is not so cost efficient. Uh, they are quite fragile and maybe not dealing enough damage. Uh, so you really have to be careful and use them as flankers. Keep them in, in a reserve and not go frontally yellow like with club warriors. So they are still average, but you should be careful with them. Next we got Penthesilea with their Stiganors. That Stiganors have flanking getting improved, good speed, very good chargers, and they are very offensive. Um, even though they are squishy, I still think they are average flankers. You will be using them for reducing defense from any units and sacrifice them to deal a lot of damage. By the performance wise, they are kind of average. They are, I do recommend bringing them together with Penthesilea. Next we got Phtaya with Aegean runners. Uh, they, they have 55 speed, flank attack improved, uh, shield, javelins. They are just like um, right night uh, the Itaka or speed speedrunners, but they are sword and shield, very fast flanker unit, definitely above average. Then we got Salamis Marines. Salamis Marines are very comparable to the other average flankers. You have to use uh, the reckless charge ability to get a lot of speed, otherwise this unit is not very fast. They do have flanking getting improved. They are slightly worse flankers as uh, Aeginian runners. So that's why Salmis Marines would be in the mid tier. And from the performance, I would rate them somewhere, somewhere here. They are good at dueling. And, but Knight Runners have Stalk, which is very valuable. So, that would be it. Now we got Sparta. We got light spear runners and they are very good. 55 speed, stalk, flanking getting improved. They can switch weapon. And in my opinion, this is the best flanker in the game you can have. You can put shield on the back and they will get over 60 speed enemy will be scared of you. They don't have just flank attack improved, they also have flanking defense, so they will be able to duel or make a lot of damage and surviving such flanking opportunities. This is the best flanker you can have. Lastly, we have Trace. Uh, Trace roster does not have flanking units, uh, very terrible. You can use the woodsmen. They are cheap. They are just like militia or just like uh, young spears, but they are using axe and their only flanking is going to be done frontally by furious charge ability. So just like the other other cheap units, you are going to ha use a lot of them, so you have more troops and you are going to use flanking frontally. You are not playing as typical standard faction with Trace. So, I think this, this is fine, this is complete. Uh, maybe one small difference is uh, because of the Furious Charge, uh, these Woodsmen are better than Trojan Warriors. And that would be it. Do you agree or disagree with something here? Please write down comments and see you later.